Today I got back some cards from PSA. All right, guys, we're going to inspect these cards that I'm going to be sending to PSA before you guys see the return video. So let's see what we have. We have a Dark Paladin Magician's Force unlimited copy. This is the one we pulled in the live stream. So this is for a viewer. So a viewer sent this one as well as his Dark Magician Girl. And so on the front, centering looks pretty good. The surface appears to be pretty decent. The back... Let's see if there's anything going on here. There's a little bit of like fogginess to it, if you guys see that. But that is pretty normal for Magician's Force, so will that actually count off? We will see, but it looks like the surface overall is pretty good. The centering is pretty good. I think that we have a good chance at a PSA 10 on this thing. Wait, let's see. In that corner, we have a slight, maybe a little whitening coming off there. I'm going to be optimistic here. I think that this can get a PSA 10. That's what I'm going to what I'm gonna go with. PSA 10 on the Dark Paladin. Next, we have the Dark Magician Girl. We pulled both these for Paolo. He wanted to send a in so i'm sending these in for him the centering is pretty off on this one so this one is not going to be a 10 the surface looks pretty good the back is a little bit foggy as well but honestly maybe like a little ding in the middle right there the corners look pretty good from what i can tell this one i think can get a nine if they're crazy on the centering maybe a little bit of silvering up there it could get an eight but i'm gonna go with nine hopefully i'm correct on that one next five are all my cards so we have the winged dragon of raw that you guys saw in the collection we bought a few days ago the centering on it is not completely perfect but it is pretty good so i think it's within the range the back might have a little dot just like the dark magician girl as well and there's a couple little specks there where i think they come off back corners look good the back centering is pretty bad if you guys remember though that can get through pretty easily especially with these raws i i graded a couple of these exact same you know terrible centering but they got 10 so i think this one does have a chance at the 10 for sure so i'm gonna go with a 10 on this one I think centering could hold it back for a nine but let's go with 10 on this then we have the obelisk the tormentor so this is another gbi secret rare the centering on it is it's just like the raw so it's not perfect but it is it's a little off and then the back centering looks similar as well so the surface appears to be pretty good from what i can tell i think this is the same as the raw it has a chance at the 10 and I'm, we're gonna go with 10 i think maybe it could get a nine but we're gonna go with 10. finally we have the slide for the sky dragon this centering is this one looks like the worst out of the three maybe it's not that much worse but it's a little bit worse back is pretty good as well corners it has a little whitening up there okay for this one i think this is probably the worst condition they all look pretty good i feel like I, they had a couple scratches that i can't see right now but i'm gonna go with nine on this one i think it does still have a chance at the 10 which is why i'm sending it in but i think it's gonna end up being a nine we have two more cards here. We have the Shinado that we pulled the other day, King of a Higher Plane. I told you guys, one of my favorite cards, so that's why we're sending it in. Not because it's necessarily worth it. Worth it or not, I would probably tell you no on this one, but we have Centering Decent. Back had, I think it does have some scuffs right in the middle, but it's not much, so the centering looks really good on it. I think that it's probably going to end up getting, oh, I don't know. I, I think this does have a chance at a 10. Because of the scuffs, maybe it could hold it back. I'm going to go with a 10, though. I think, I think it has a chance at the 10. Let's see what can happen. Front was really good with the centering. And finally, we have one that I have no idea what's going to happen with this one. The Faded Gate Guardian from a few months ago. We got it in a collection. Super faded. Like, you can barely see the name. The stars are extremely faded. The entire card basically is faded. So it looks really cool. I have no idea how they're going to grade it, but the surfaces are really clean on it. The surfaces, the corners, all that stuff. As long as they don't take off for fading then i think it can get a 10 it does have a little dot right there okay it came off really i'm just worried like maybe they think that something has been tampered with because of the name but honestly i think this should be like okay the centering is not perfect i think it should be at least a nine i'm gonna go with nine on this thing they could give it like something crazy because it's faded but we're gonna send it in hopefully we get a nine on it. it's really cool fade it's very unique so you guys will see in this video what the cards actually got today i got back some cards from psa What's up guys, today we have a pretty awesome PSA return video. Before that, I do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards that we pull from the Storm of Ragnarok special edition sent to us by the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rookie. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what your favorite card is from the return or your favorite card that you own PSA graded. Today we actually have seven cards in this PSA return. So it's not a huge return, but it's also not very small. Five of the cards are mine, and two of the cards are for Paolo that he pulled in the Magician's Force booster box break. For Paulo, we haven't pulled anything yet. We're still looking for something big. DMG specifically. Amazonas Blue Piper. Let's go. Gather your mind. Pigeon Holding Book of Spells. Thunder of Ruler. Is this it? First foil. Paulo! <laughs> he got it already! The Dark 
magician girl. A few moments later. All right, here you. Second goblin. We got the formation. Oh my goodness! It's the luckiest man in the world. He got a dark paladin. What in the world? All right, now that we've relived those epic moments, let's see what grades everything got. All right, we'll cut into these things. They're always very difficult to open. That wasn't too bad. Okay, let's pull these out. I'm not sure what order these are in, so we're just gonna have to go with what order they're in. This is the first submission we've done in a while, so I'm pretty excited. My five cards are all pretty nice, and I know obviously his are really cool. Let's start off with the first one. Oh, the faded first edition gate garden. I'm really curious to see what this one got. So if you guys look at the card, it's actually pretty off-centered. It's not crazy off-centered, but it is fairly off-centered. It's pretty skinny over here compared to over here. I actually want to take this out of the wrapper because these wrappers are very reflective. So we have another look at this. There is, is that a dot on there? I'm not, yeah, okay, that was just on the case. So it's a little bit skinnier on this side, a little bit wider on that side. It does have the fade. So how will they grade the fade? It's kind of rhymed. I don't, I don't know. But we're about to find out. I don't really know. It was super clean. The surface was really nice, which is why I sent it out. I'm hoping for the nine because the off-centered, I think, probably is going to make it a nine at best. But you never know. Sometimes it'll sneak through with bad centering. And also sometimes the fade will give it a bad grade. I hope we don't get like a seven or something. That would be rough. So let's see what the first card will be. I'm predicting nine. Oh my gosh. This is definitely... It has to be because of fading. Because this card is in great condition. What in the world? A six? Am I missing something? Is there like a dent in it or something? Or is it just because it's faded? Oh my, what a disappointment. Honestly, I thought seven would be the worst. Six? Are you kidding me right now? Can anybody see anything there? I mean, the surface looks great to me from what I can tell. A six? Okay, let's check the corners. Uh, corner does have a slight bit of whitening there. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Maybe a t Actually, maybe a little bit of whitening there as well, but not much. That one looks pretty good. That one looks... Okay, there's some whitening on that one. So, yeah, it's not perfect. It's off-centered. Okay, maybe you could argue an eight, but where's the six? That's what I'm seeing. I mean, you guys see anything on the surface? The surface was super clean. That's why I sent this thing. PSA six. All right. That is a rough one for sure. Okay. That's a great start. Hopefully that is not indicative of what we're going to see the rest of the way. Okay. Next up, I think this is Shinado because I think if these are all mine, it's Shinado and then three God cards. So I took it out of the sleeve. Let's see. Yeah, it's Shinado first edition. The centering, I think, is wow, the centering is fantastic on this card. So that looks pretty good. That should be fine. We should be fine there. Look how much they had to abbreviate the name because it's so long. The surface is really nice on the front. I know the back had a tiny bit of scuffing, but it's not much. I think this does have a 10 shot. That's why I sent it in. I forgot that I actually did a pre-grade for this video. So you guys will actually see what I think everything's gonna get. Okay, let's see. Did this get the 10? I think I said nine or ten. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. We pulled this from our first edition Dark Crisis pack just a couple of weeks ago if you guys missed the video. But man, wow, that is a very nice pull off. That is one of my favorite cards ever, especially from Dark Crisis. It's probably my favorite card from Dark Crisis because back in the day I had the Dark Revelation 1 version and it was bit in half and you know, you've heard, you've heard. But it, that is a pretty cool PSA 10. I think that one was deserving. That's I think that's definitely fair. Now we have what seems to be a Slifer based on the back, Slifer the Sky Dragon. From GBI, Game Boy Advance, the Secret Rare. There's Ultra Rare and Secret Rare, you can tell, because the names are a different color. The Silver version is the Secret. And then, of course, in the background, it does have the Secret Rare foiling, which is kind of hard to tell, but it does look really good. A slide for the Sky Dragon. I think, was this thing maybe a little OC? I think these were all in pretty good condition. I can't remember what I predicted for them, so you guys will have seen that. So let's just see what he got. A 7? But why? Why is this a 7? Okay, let's see. Corner, wait. Okay, that was nothing. Corner's good. Uh, corner's good. Corner's good. Okay, these corners are really nice. They're much better than Gate Guardian. That's probably why this got a seven and not a six. That corner, okay, that corner's got some stuff on it. That one does a little bit. That one looks good, and that one looks good. So is there a dent in this card that I missed? Is there a dent? Okay, let's see. It's kind of hard to see. Wow, that is, that's shocking. That's even more shocking than Gate Guardian. This one, I kind of had a... I was like, maybe because it's faded, it's not going to get a good grade. That one, I'm not sure. I mean, a little OC, a couple tiny white spots. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Let's hope that the other two gods did better than that. Hoping that Paolo's stuff does pretty good as well. I mean, we obviously want him to not get sixes and sevens. So let's see. We have the Obelisk, the Tormentor. What's the centering looking like on this one? It is looking like it is, I think, better. Better than the Slifer for sure. Okay, so maybe we can get an eight. JK, hopefully it's better than an eight. That, that would be unfortunate. There is some whitening on that corner. 
a little bit on that one. So it's not completely perfect. Come on, at least be a nine. What? A six? What is happening? Two sixes and a seven? This can't be right. They either like, what is six worthy about this? I'm gonna have to crack all these and look at them because this is crazy. I've never gotten multiple sixes that I can remember unless it was like in a huge submission. Did it, we did a pre-grade on this video. So you guys will see what the condition is. I'm really glad I did that now because I remember predicting nothing worse than like a nine and we're getting sixes, two sixes and a seven. What in the world? Like I'm super happy about the Shinado. Well, what is going on with these other cards? Are they like trying to make, okay, this centering is really bad on the back. If that gets us like a five or something. I'm expecting it to be honest. Okay, the centering on the front is not perfect for sure. It's not perfect. Let's see if there's anything going on. I mean, I'm not seeing any sort of like dents on these cards. So what is happening? Sixes and sevens. All right, well, this is going to be an expensive one. <laughs> this is going to be an expensive return because these cards are not making the money back. Let's see. PSA 10. Okay, Wing Dragon Raw is just my spirit animal. So we, we get two tens, a seven, and two sixes. I mean, I guess it's better than getting like five nines. I mean, it's kind of sad, but I think it actually is better. I mean, this is what I thought all of them would get. I thought they'd all get 10. The front centering is a little bit off. The back centering is way off, but the back centering for Wing Dragon and Raw apparently does not matter because I've graded like three or four where the back centering is off. And it's usually they're very lenient on the back centering, obviously. So what in the world was wrong with these other cards? Because apparently it wasn't centering. I don't know. I have no idea. So that's it for my cards. I am happy and very angry. So I don't know what to feel right now. It's a very weird mix of emotions. Two more cards. These are both for Paolo, a viewer of the channel. He bought some packs from the, the box break. So we are rooting for him. I think I predicted nine on the Dark Magician Girl and like maybe a 10 on the Paladin. I can't remember. Let's check the back here. I don't know which one's which. Corner or edges, I should say. Look pretty good, pretty good. Okay, this is the Dark Magician Girl. It is off-centered, so that's the reason why I was saying there's almost no way it gets a 10. Yeah, it's pretty OC. These do often have some scuffing on the back. I think it had a little bit of scuffing, so it could maybe be an 8. I would say worst case, but we've seen some really bad cases today, so let's go for a 9. Come on, Paolo. Awesome. Yes, he got the mint nine. I'm very happy about that. Congrats. It's actually a really awesome grade for a Dark Magician girl. Even unlimited, they're very expensive. Very good value. So I'm very happy that he got this. PSA 10 is just crazy in this card. So even a nine is very awesome. So that is a good start for Paolo. We have one more card for him. Wow, that's secret. That, that shines real nice. You guys see that? That shines real nice. Final card of the video. It's been an up and down roller coaster. Straight up, up and down. This is the weirdest submission ever. Two sixes, a seven. We finally got a nine. We got two tens. Now we've got a dark paladin. This is the one we're hoping for a PSA 10 for him. I can't remember if I predicted nine or 10. There is a little bit of whitening up in that corner that I can see. It's not much. With how they've been uh, grading these, I really don't know what to expect. It's just an ultra rare unlimited, but this and PSA 10 would be really cool. Centering looks much better than the dark magician girl. Is there anything on the back that I can see? Service looks pretty good. All right, we are hoping for that 10. Send the luck in the comments. Here we go. Mint nine. Ah, oh, I didn't get the 10. Okay, overall, so we got one that I was expecting a nine and then one that I was hoping for a 10. He got the nine. Really not too bad. I mean, he couldn't worse. He could have gotten sixes and sevens for some reason, but honestly, not terrible grades for Paolo. That was extremely weird. I don't know if I'm happy, angry, Sad. I don't know. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike, Nancy, Mimi, Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.